everyone. Welcome to this afternoon's After School Club. I'm Ruth. I am about to sneeze. Hold on one second here. Maybe? Maybe I will sneeze? Maybe not. Okay. Um, sorry about that. But um, today's After School Club um, is, you know, design it for uh, Mondays. Um, if you have never seen Do Space After School Club, you can always go to dospace.org slash like after school club or just go to dspace.org and you'll see like after school club at the top of the website and you'll see like all this information about the older age group and the younger age group including archives for the previous weeks like last week we did like some tinkercad stuff we had to make our own inventions but this time around we're doing a world building design here still part of design and some character design later on now, if you're just joining us for the first time, you can totally chat with us either on Facebook or Twitch. Um, with Twitch, you will have to create an account if you're under the age of 13. It's against Twitch policies, but you can still, you know, chat with us on Facebook. And or have a grown-up typing things for you, too. But, yeah, let's get started here. So, world building. You know, if you've never heard about it before, that's alright. Um, I'm here to teach you what it is, and it's tons of fun. If you like, uh, so chatting here. Um, if you like, like, tons of things, like stories and stuff, or dry Dungeons and Dragons, or, like, video games with lots of story in them, this is it for you. This is something that you might plan to try out here. But what is world building? So, first off, um, world building is defined as instruction and refinement of hypothetical world. Generally, people world build for reasons including not limited to D&D and our other EG games, novels, and for fun. So, it is also a process of constructing imaginary worlds, sometimes associated with a whole fictional universe. Some people make like uh, fan fiction of other universes people already made, established, and such. There's like tons of different kinds of fan fictions out there, um, especially a really popular one with Harry Potter. <laughs> So, I always try that. Um, and it's also the resulting world, maybe a constructed world, you know, it could be like a, you know, like a man-made world, like, you know, the Death Star from Star Wars um, and such. So it's just, yeah, it's all this different kind of stuff you put together, you're creating a place around. So if you picture, you know, like where we are, so we're in Omaha, Nebraska right now. Um, and you can think about, you know, of course you can make a world around where you live to just adapt it, but when you make world build, you have to take account of all this information around you. So I'm using, you know, this area for example, where you think you also have to like create different cultures and stuff. So the culture of here is basically, oh, you betcha and let me squeeze by ya, um, and add some ranch, um, lots of things and there's sports and <laughs> other stuff like that. Um, I can totally add it in. But again, if you guys have suggestions, um, you can always ch chat with us on Twitch or Facebook here. I'm gonna move on, but like, yeah, I could totally like make a group of people that just say, you know, you betcha all the time or oh, all the time and <laughs> all that stuff. And like, there's corn palaces everywhere for some strange reason in the cold Nebraska world. <laughs> That's, I know, it just kind of made it a little weird world right there, but there's so much more into it. So, oh, another thing I need to talk about, um, if you've never heard of Lord of the Rings, um, it's like this giant series of like, I can't just say just about rings, but um, it's like a fantasy, high fantasy world where like, oh, it's hard to describe besides a group of people taking a ring to destroy it at this place. <laughs> it's yeah, it's much more than that. Um, but uh, it was written by, hopefully, I'm not offending any Lord of the Rings fans out there, but it's written by J.R.R. Tolkien, and they were kind of the person that really take off world building in the novel world. Like, not many people before, maybe a few that we, you know, have heard much before, but, like, they were, like, the first to, like, kind of first to like create this whole giant world with all these different cultures and languages and such and before then novels didn't really get into that so JJ uh, J.R.R. Tokine kind of invented world building I can't say he's the first um, but he kind of popularized it 
So that's always a good one to like look at for world building. But what do you need for world building? So with world building stuff, you just need design supplies, like with other things when you're inventing something, uh, you need some design supplies for such as that stuff. So this is good design supplies are paper, notebooks, sketchbooks, um, pens, paper, markers, highlighters, whiteboard, uh, giant paper pads or chalkboards or just a wet erase white like boards. Um, sticky notes, graph paper, pretty good. Graph paper for making those maps. <laughs> Toys, figurines, play-doh, clay, you know, putting characters on maps, playing it out. Um, and tablets with drawing or note-taking capabilities. Um, that's optional. That's what I use. I used to use paper and stuff, but now I'm like, I got a tablet, so I can just put all the stuff here. Um, yeah, again, see a few viewers, but if you just want to say hi, you can write in chat uh, and give you a shout out or, you know, talk about a, you know, story that you want to make. So, next thing I want to talk about here. So, kind of learning about world world building is, so you're thinking, where do I start now? Kind of want to start with, you know, you don't have to go what I suggest right away. Um, you can try a different order than me, but it's really good to figure out what a genre. You might be thinking, hmm. What's a genre if you've never heard of it before? Basically, it's kind of like the category, the theme of your story. So, I gotta like, let me scroll down here in my notes. I gotta like, it's it's exploring a theme of ideas. Certain ways. You think about novels, you know, there's high fantasy, low fantasy, sci fi, uh, soft sci fi, hard sci fi, speculative fiction, alt history, historical fiction, um, romance uh, novels. That kind of still goes with like normal, like, you know, historical, not historical, but like alt history or just another. You can also use like the world we're into. And establish a world like that's like the theme of your world here. Um, usually, a lot of people do either like sci fi, um, sci fi is just another version of fantasy, but um, fantasy and some type of like world that's like ours right now, but different, or like a apocalyptic world that's still kind of a mix of sci fi a little bit in there, is another um, type of genre in there. But yeah, you can definitely like pick a genre out and start like listing things. So I am just going to do for genre of my story, I'm just going to pick alternate universe. Um, my alternate universe is just the same as ours, but some things are different. So I don't have to worry about like making sure everything's the same everywhere. So I can kind of like have the, like I'm taking the physics and like all the science and all the like laws of this universe, but just changing a lot of history. I also could change <laughs> some of the stuff maybe. I could also take some characters, like some people who are history right now, and change their stories with alternate universe, stuff like that. So that's kind of a genre. I'm doing like a modern um, time frame, like 2020s <laughs> plus. Um, what else could I do here? I can always like make my, you know, genre more specific than this, but I'm just, you know, going with this for my genre. I'm going to make this bigger so people can see. Oops. There we go. So that's kind of my genre. Next thing I'm going to look into is medium. If you don't know what a medium is, it's like your tool you use to tell about your world that you're building. Um, so could be a novel, like writing, making a game. Um, yeah, making a game. Here's a gun just on that slide with medium. Um, trying to think of other things here. Comics, you know, you can make tell your story through comics. You can tell your story through drawing, animation, movies. Um, a lot of people in Dragon Dungeons, Dragons and Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why I'm getting that backwards, but <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons world like to like create story campaigns and do a lot of world building through that within the world that um, Dungeons and Dragons have made with their books or adding their own stuff in there. So, yeah, like a lot of people do a lot of world building for tabletop RPGs. Um, you can also make like a historical like documents. That's like that's a very interesting one um, to, for you to tell how to tell your story in your world. Um, some people do operas. 
um, musical comps, like musicals, um, you know, all these different ways. So it's just basically like all these different creative avenues for you to like tell your story. So you want to pick, you know, like one you want to go with uh, for world building. Again, if you got, you know, some ones that you want to, you know, use to tell your story, different mediums, definitely can in chat. Um, I'm going to go with, um, let's see, I could do animation, I could do a book, I could do a comic, I could do it through a game. Um, which one should I do, guys, if you're watching? Should I do game or comic? Of course, with comic, it'll take a bit to establish. <laughs> Same with game too, but with game, I have to think that you have to design some game mechanics with it that are specific to that world. Um, the thing with games is that you kind of want to design game mechanics first and then add story to it. Um, unless you're like a company like Square Enix, where they already have their like gameplay solid down, so they're just building their worlds out there. Except for nowadays, where they're just <laughs> they're changing the gameplay every time. Um, so I could mean I could also just be undecided. I'm gonna do like comic or game um, in there. I'm thinking about a like visual novel game rather than a tabletop physical board game. I could do that or not, but I'm gonna go with that. Um, just let me know that because for tabletop I usually want to specify to Dungeons and Dragons, and um, I don't really have a campaign going on right now. And I find being like um, GMing, game master, um, very exhausting. So I kind of <laughs> with that. So yeah, got a medium now. So hmm, what could we do next here? So we got a genre. My genre is just alternate universe, alternate history. Um, and the medium could be either comic or game. Involves a lot of art. Well, I'm gonna add that. Um, involves art. Drawing in there, so I know what I'm doing there. And then there's the good old why. You know, what, why, when, and such as that. Like, why do you want to do this? So, yeah, we got a medium, got a genre. So, and I think next, you know, before we really go into this, is actually probably the one you want to think of first before doing anything else. But I'm going to this a little bit later. So, why do you want to build a world? Why do you want to tell a story? Why do you want to design a character? Um, could be for multiple different reasons. Maybe you got like a school project and you want to make it cooler. Uh, maybe you want to just have some fun. Maybe you got a tabletop game upcoming and you are the game master and you got to build a campaign for your players to explore. Uh, maybe, yeah, you just want to tell your story and you want to build a world around it. Could be like a personal story and you just want to explain it your like your past, your thoughts and feelings through fantasy, sci-fi, the different genres. Um, or maybe you just, you know, want to tell like a really wacky story that I happen to you sometime. Again, you can use, you know, different genres to tell it. Um, just tell you what, mostly, yeah, it's mostly like for fun, but if you're doing for like, I don't know, like you could use it, do this for a career, but I feel like if you start with just this in a career mind way, it kind of kills the joy out of it because you're just like, I got to make money off of this. I got to make money off of this um, versus like, I'm going to do this for fun and eventually later like, oh, I will sell this later on. Um, it's just my personal opinion, but not like, you know, the tell because some people can just start for a profit on that and just go. Um, I mean, I'm just like, no, this is for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna do this and people are gonna have fun with it and they're gonna look at it for free. So yeah, it's up to you on that. Um, yeah, you can definitely, you know, list off some reasons if you want in chat. You don't have to like keep staring at the screen. I don't feel like I'm talking to a void here. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, okay, I guess okay to talk to the void anyways. Because that's what I've been doing so far. But yeah. So my why um is to have fun with a, I'm gonna make it like a Nebraska theme world. Um, have fun with a. Oh, um, so I'm, you know, this is Nebraska. I kind of find Nebraska kind of boring. Um, Although I do like some parts of it where it's kind of fun. So I'm just going to take those parts that are really fun and amplify it more. Make this like weird Midwestern world. Yep. 
So next thing, you know, after you do that is, you know, define your audience. Um, defining audiences. If you've never heard of that term before, it basically is what is the person you want to tell the story to? Um, some people might think everyone, but like you want to think about who's most likely to enjoy this story the most. Um, and you want to like get that group of people's opinions on it. So defining an audience is not just, you know, to have a group of people to sell it to, but also a group of people to help you improve um, and such. So I'm going to add audience here. And you always think of all these different kind of audience. You know, um, your friends is very valid. You could just, you know, insert, you know, type your friends right in there if you want. Um, maybe, you know, you have a specific community you want to engage. Uh, maybe you're writing like a fan fiction. <laughs> so you kind of like want to like invite some fans to read about that world story you've added to someone else's um, content. Um, you also may want to specify, you know, different, like, particular age group, um, particular, like, religion, cultural background, if you want to get more into depth, um, such, you know, like, this is also really good if your story is more in the serious matter, where you're like, I really want to impact my friends or uh, my family or, like, different things in this way, or you want to show someone that has no, no idea about this part of your experience another point of view, um, that's a case where you do want to explore the audience so that they can find something to relate to, engage with your story and your world better. So there's stuff like that. Mine is just, uh, well, it's our Nebraskans. <laughs> and, um, Nebraska. I could spell Nebraska right. Um, Nebraskans and people who have no idea on what Midwestern culture is. A lot of people are like, a lot of people say Midwestern uh, doesn't really have culture, but it is. It's just not very exciting. <laughs> It's just feels very plain. Um, but I like a lot of people here just kind of aren't aren't aware of it, but it's it's definitely there. Okay, so after that, after you define your audience again, it could just be your friends. If you're saying your friends, you can like list out some names, their ages. Um, I definitely would you know go more into audience. Like you can let me go back. To, oops, ignore that. <laughs> Um, you can like even, you know, do like age, um, like um, area that they're at. Sometimes people add gender in there, um, but I don't really need that. Um, sometimes people add like, you know, what's their job, like what's their occupation or hobbies. Like, if they're on the tabletop games, it would be like tabletop players, <laughs> stuff of that. Okay, mine is for um, teens to um, old adults. Actually, I, you can do just do everyone for age. <laughs> be fun for young kids too, but it kind of helps you adjust the content that you want to build for your world. <laughs> So yeah, you can go way in depth in this. And I'm like not even going into really in depth for everything. There's like huge, huge amounts of information about each of the things I presented. There's like tons of books just about genre and stuff like that. Like they even created like much more interesting ways to describe genres. And you can always find that information out there. Um, at the end of this, I will show you a great resource. But next, we want to figure out your strategy and starting points. So that part I'm actually gonna be like talking about. Like it's not just one thing, it's just like all these different things you can like figure it out. But um, you always want to think about how you want to start this out. Do you want to start top down? You want to start with the general moving to specifics, or do you want to go super specific and then go to general, which is you know bottom up. So 
there's much, much more ways to do it. Like, you can start with a character and then build around around that character, or you build a world first and then build your characters around that world. It just depends. Like, a, everyone has a different opinion about where to start that. Um, you can also just start with some, like, little thing of inspiration, like, um, you know, like, picture, like, you know, Horton here, too, like, oh, you see a little dandelion, oh, what if it's another small world? Really, really tiny people. Um, and then someone builds a world around that. <laughs> Um, about like what's the difference between these two things, uh, the bigger world and the smaller world, and, like all that different stuff there. Um, so you don't have to like create um, a really exhaustive list for how to start. But I'm going to add what I'm going to do. Oops. There we go. Um, so, and also you don't have to stick to the same approach the whole time, however you want to do it. Um, this is just a way to get started. It's like, I don't know if there are a lot of artists are out there, but if you're into art, it's like making that first mark in paper, and you don't like have blank paper central, where you're just staring at it and like, where do I start? Um, it's just a way to like, really get into it. So, eventually you might get a new idea and jump to different parts and aspects, you know, of your world with a different approach. You might find something that is to fill stuff in. You need to invent stuff less between interactions, between existing ideas, and filling holes, and creating new ideas, and so on. So there's actually way more to this for how to get started and stuff. It's like, this is what we'll be talking to in the next few weeks about stuff. But I'm going to start with building. Um, oops. I'm going to start with building the world. And then the characters and their story. Yeah. So I make make the Nebraska world first. The corn world. And then the characters. That's basically what I'm gonna be doing here. If you're just not joining us, you can always, you know, chat and stuff. So the upcoming weeks, I'm definitely going to get into much more details about how to, like, start with different things. Like, there's even templates I'm going to show off. Um, maybe make some maps, um, such as that, naming, which is, like, different places you can go to, um, the goals of the story, like what's the problem that happened in the world, in the past, the future, um, what's going on right now, like there's all the stuff you can think of, like different languages, um, all of that different stuff that we're going to get into. Um, I'm going to look at it specifically, so of course, you know, you want to stick with like a spark, so I have a challenge for you guys. Um, for developing your idea, I always will go into developing you know, the idea, but next, the well, great way to start is to make a pitch. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, like a um, very fabulous pitch for some executive to buy out your idea and help, you know, fund things, but what I like to do for a pitch is um, create, a uh, present or idea in 240 characters or less. That is the size of a tweet. I think it's actually more than that now. Um, but it's basically like trying to come up with your whole main idea and just a few characters to get out there. It's just a tweet they can just share. Um, it's a really good way to really captivate people that way. Um, yeah, but that is about it for today. I am going to show this like website. So I'm going to bring this out. There is a website called Reddit World Building, specifically on Reddit. There it is, right there. It has all this information on world building. A lot of people post really cool things on there. Um, you want to be careful when you look through Reddit, but definitely want to stick to this. Like it like goes all this crazy information and people have like all these categories and stuff and like all this like how to get started, how to get map making, um, some guides and stuff. And a lot of people just, you know, show off some cool things like this person has a cool idea for making creatures where they make a creature based on the skull. <laughs> well, <laughs> the animal is much, much different than the skull. 
Um, some people creating some like environments around their world, some characters. Usually a lot of stuff in here is for D&D. &D. Um, get more worlds, characters. Some people do like a battle here, some map making, um, more map making. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's a, like galaxies and stuff. Um, a lot of this is actually pretty much map making, creating different species, and all this other cool stuff. Family trees. <laughs> um, well, this is more of like a species tree in here how to develop, and questions, and communicating with other people, um, all of that other good stuff. So yeah, next week we're going to start really diving into Make This World. But yeah, that is all for today. Um, at 5 o'clock we're going to do this, like, show off world building again, but we're geared towards the end group. Otherwise, have a good day everyone.